How to add a voice narration to PowerPoint 2007. Okay, let's get started. I want to go into the ribbon of the application and look for a slideshow and then click record narration. And when I do that, it brings up the record narration dialog box. I want to do a couple of things here. I want to set the microphone level to around 80%. That's going to be two tick marks to the left Then click OK. Now I want to change the quality of the audio file. Um, if one of the built-in templates is working well with your system, then go ahead and use one of those. What I've found works well with my system is if I leave that untitled and then keep the format at the, at the default PCM and change the attributes to this setting, um, you can find that in the list here. And actually it's the 86 kilobytes per second. Let me get it there just a second. So. Um, go ahead and pause your video if you want to write this down and make sure that that your settings look like my settings or again if you want to use one of the uh, default templates that's good too and I'm going to hit OK. Um, if you want to save your audio files as external files that you can use for other purposes you'll want to click the link narrations in. Um, if you want to on the other hand embed the audio files so that you can um, um, upload the PowerPoint presentation to Blackboard or email it to someone, then you want to keep that unchecked. And when I click OK, I'm going to be ready to uh, do my first recording, so this is a good time to have your script in front of you. And I'm going to click OK. I'm in the title slide of my presentation, and when I click Enter, that's going to embed that first file. And when it when I actually do the presentation, it'll play the audio, you'll see the slide, and then it'll automatically translate or transition to the next slide. Um, I'm going to define that by clicking Enter right now. I'm in the first slide, and now I'm going to go into the next slide. I'm going to, I'm going to hit Enter again. I'm in the second slide, and now I'm going to go to the end of the presentation. And now I've finished my presentation, let's say, and I have I should have four embedded audio files in my PowerPoint presentation. So now I just want to hit Escape, then click Save. And just to give this a test, I'm going to go into the presentation mode. I can do that from the keyboard by clicking F5. I'm in the title slide of my presentation, and when I click Enter, that's going to embed that first file. And when it when I actually do the presentation, it'll play the audio, you'll see the slide, and then it'll automatically transi or transition to the next slide. Um, I'm going to define that by clicking Enter right now. Okay, so that's doing what I wanted to do. So um, I'm just going to click through this real quick. Um, so we got the audio embedded into the PowerPoint. All I need to do is close this, save it, and I can see that I've got my PowerPoint slide right there. And so if I was in, if I was uploading this to, to Blackboard or a link or um, sending it as an attachment in email, like I just attach this one file and send it along and it'll take all of those embedded audio files along with it. So that's all for this video.